yo, yo, what's going on? Blair at the Car Guys here with Michael Steinman. What's going on, Mike? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? How'd you end up doing today? Uh, top 16. Uh, what'd you end up playing? Um, Extra Deck Monarchs. And why this uh, over any other deck? Uh, I just think it's, it's no, the most powerful engine, of course, and uh, I think you can build it pretty consistently. So. Alright, nice, nice. Let's get into it. Let's do your plate. Alright, so three other, obviously. Uh, three Karaz. Uh, I actually like drawing one because it fixes like the, the single tribute hands because you can pop your turn from the other research. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Uh, two Erebus. We didn't like more than five uh, big monarchs. They just seemed a little inconsistent. Couldn't really summon them a lot. Uh, so we some we wanted another monarch though because uh, when you have nine tenacity reveals, that's the most consistent uh, to always have black tenacities without overgoing the monarchs. So we played Mobius. Um, There's a lot of demise on Friday and stuff, so we just figured it was a safe pick. It could have been uh, like Little Desolos or Majesty's Fiend, but I don't like Majesty's Fiend because uh, when you summon it with your turn, you can't summon Ether over it. So even if this does nothing turn one, it's still triggering my return and stuff, so that's good enough. Yeah, pop in return, just like for us. Uh, and then two red layers and blue layer. Uh, played three terra tops, no idea. Um, it's just really good, doesn't take your normal summon. Uh, it makes grand pulse, which is really good. Like this, making grand pulse is super good too. Uh, it just opens up a lot of plays. Like you can like pop your turn, just like Karaz, or you can like set Panth and pop it if you need to do that. Otherwise, it's just good at outing mass, chaos, or deflector and stuff. Um, and there's some tricks you can do, that, do with this. I'll show you in a bit. Uh, and then Mithra, just one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then spells. Three Pantheism, three Tenacity, three Return, three Stormforth, yeah, <laughs> two Teleport, uh, two Instant Fusion, oh, we like this a lot, we played uh, Dragonus the Wicked Knight, which is a uh, level 3 Wind, and you can summon to Ketemborg off it, uh, which actually happened yesterday, I, I kind of bricked, but I drew this, so I had this, to Ketemborg and summon Erebus. Um, other than that, you can, it just opens up a lot more plays, and it's Tribute Fodder that lets you make powerful plays, so it's pretty good. You can just have Grand Balls too, like go teleport, get yeah. blue, and then do that to make your Grand Balls, use it on their turn, it's really good. Yep. So, and then we played uh, one Domain, uh, one Upstart, and then two Twin Twister for the Mirror match. Uh, it's really good uh, because the Mirror is centered around like resolving Return, Prime, setting Stormforth in the end phase. Uh, so, it's a card you can like draw into later on and just blow them out any turn. So, I know it's good against Demise as well, so it's a good card. Three Max C, uh, going second against BA and Combo Cosmo. Um, that's a really good card. We didn't want to main deck it because we already had the Twin Twisters, and it's a Kemborg in the blue layer, so it's like kind of a lot of bricks. Uh, two Veilers going second against a Mirror Match and Pendulum. Uh, it's really all really you can do against Adia. I mean, it's a really good card when it resolves, so you just need to stop it. Uh, two Mini Thessalos uh, for going first. Against the mirror, it's really good. Uh, you, you use it to brick their hand, really, and just ripping any card's really good. Uh, it's good against Pendulum going first. I think we cited it against Cosmo going first. Uh, yeah. So, like, uh, we took out one Karaz for one of these most matchups, and then in the mirror match, we brought both in. So, it's really good. Uh, and then we played one Megazborg. Uh, it's, there's a play with Escalation where you can search it off return and then summon it, and then. Blow up eight and still have field presence and an ether in your graveyard with Erebus. So that that's just like a win button. Um, <laughs> other than that, it's actually kind of cool in the mirror because you can send their rank five. So you're playing extra monarchs and they don't have any exceeds. And it sends omegas too, so you can put back their pants and primes and idos and stuff like that. So it's kind of good against everything, but I didn't want it going second. Uh, and then one, the third twin twister. Uh, two full house for the demise decks and uh, Magic Spectre was here. Yeah, there was a lot of Magic Spectre. Yeah, so I just I, I drew it against Magic Spectre round two and just it was really good. So, uh, two Chaos Trap Wolf for going first in the mirror uh, and second actually. Um, it just kind of it can be game changing or it can not be that good, especially if they have Eddie Idos to get another summon. But um, there's not really anything better. I think Masquerade Trick's really bad, so that's like the next best thing. And then Escalation, decided it with the uh, Megas of so I can make that play. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Vanities for going first against everything but Monarch, because <laughs> it's like, if you break and draw Vanities, it could be like another turn you get. 
even if it doesn't really do too much. Or if you draw a good hand with vanities, you just win the game. Yeah, so the whole deck turns it off, so it's like never a detriment. That's really good. This wasn't good against the mirror match, so. <laughs> and then extra deck, uh, Four just one guy. Yeah. Uh, two Volkas comes up more than any rank five, really, just because like the first one's bait, and then the second one seals the game. And it's time. And it's time, yeah. <laughs> And then Lady is only one. It's really only good against BA. Um, there's some times in the mirror where it's good, but uh, the extra deck's really tight. So Wonder and Del, same reason. Uh, Magna Lag is really good. Adrius from Mask Restrict, and it pops up Prime Monarch in the mirror match. So it's good too. Zen Mile for Demise decks. Uh, and then we played Grand Polis and Dante. Um, their hands were like. You, you, you brick, but you can make Dante and if you mill Pant, you can just win, or if you mill like a Spell or Trap for your Ether, so you want to have the chance, right? And then uh, this for Instant Fusion, this for Instant Fusion for Tukum Board, and Thousand Eyes for Instant Fusion. Um, it outs Fog King, and like stuff like Landwalker, if you take it and then it dies, it won't get to Banish and Search. And then uh, two Omegas for his abort. Um, three is optimal, but there's no room. So. <laughs> two, I figured if I Megas abort and sent two Omegas, that was good enough. Nice, nice. Uh, so any uh, deck, any changes you want to make to the deck? Um, no, I think it ran pretty smoothly. All right. No problem. Any shout outs? Uh, Brady Bunch, uh, Alex and Brady and Mitch. Uh, we all make the decks. So. Nice, nice, bro. Appreciate it. Um, we'll see you next time, uh, next time you do. But it's Blair the Car Guy. See you.